Hello my friends, greetings from Rome, Italy. Arrived here two days ago, what a beautiful city. I am here to do stock photography and video. Yesterday was my first day. I walked for 10 hours doing street photography. Came back home dead tired, but very, very happy. It is spring and lots of trees blooming on the streets of Rome. I walked just a few blocks from my home and found this image. Love the combination of blooming tree and an old lady looking through the window. I guess her husband, son or grandson put out the symbol of local football team on the window. Made perfect composition. This area of Rome called Testaccio. It looks like working class neighborhood with lovely uh, local market. I made a quick stop just to check things around. I'm planning to do some shopping here, maybe have a lunch at some point. Here are a few images I took just to show you around. There are lovely streets with blooming trees and a little park. And of course, it wouldn't be Rome if there is no ancient ruins. I just love to imagine people asking you, what is the view from your window? <laughs> oh, it's just a few arches from the Ponticus Emilia built in 174 BC. <laughs> it's more than 2000 years old. Yeah, every time I put out uh, my laundry, I look down on it. Everyone on the streets was so friendly. I saw this dog laying on the ground waiting for the owner who went shopping. I took a couple of shots and only after I noticed that few people were standing in the entrance patiently waiting for me to finish my photography. So nice. Across the Tiber River I saw this beautiful building with lots of different windows and just I needed one person in one of them to finalize the image. Surely enough after waiting for about 5-10 minutes I got it. The banks of the river have bicycle trail with combination of wall graffiti and this man on a bicycle gave me an interesting image. I must say that unfortunately the whole city of Rome is covered with graffiti and not beautiful graffiti murals uh, you see now in many cities around the world, but rather simply vandalized buildings. Very unfortunate. While working on the street I noticed a young cook taking a break from his work. I smiled at him, he smiled back so I decided to ask him permission to take his picture. Walking trust every neighborhood, I saw this cute dog sitting at the entrance to the shop. There was my second dog shot in, of the day. I put this image on my Instagram today and one of the ladies wrote me that it's supposedly a famous dog given to the store owner as a gift by Woody Allen when he was filming to, uh, to Rome with love. His name is Leon. Soon enough I saw a bunch of older guys having fun on the street. I like good feeling of this image. Not far from the Vatican, I walked around the car and I saw this woman with the dog. That's my third one. <laughs> Only had a split second to raise my camera and I startled her. But I smiled at her and said grazie, <laughs> thank you. She smiled back at me and said grazie too, very friendly. The Vatican was very crowded, lots of tourists and was lots of hustlers trying to sell you stuff. I quickly left the area but on the way out I saw this monk on the stoplight and I got the shot. Here are a few more pictures of someone's scooter who obviously loves stickers. Fantastic wisteria covering wall of the hotel. Portraits of a street musician on Piazza Navona and a bunch of kids having snack sitting on the sidewalk. A little baby excited about horse near the Pantheon. A little later I found this narrow passage and took a shot with my camera on the ground with the silhouette of a man walking. I have of course more pictures from that day. But now let's talk about street photography for stock photography. I have this question very often. How is it possible to sell street photography images in stock? Don't you need a model release for all people in the shot and property release for any private property in the image? Well, the simple answer to this uh, question is that yes, indeed, you can sell street photography images in stock, but only for editorial market, which does not require signed releases. In order to be able to sell street photography images, it is important to have images with certain content. You need to have pictures with a story. In a way, you need to think like an art buyer. 
why would you buy this picture? For what kind of use? Here are two of my images from Alamy Stock Agency, which sells regularly over the last few years. First one I took in Washington, D.C. It is a road crew working on the street. This image was licensed a few times. I would speculate for stories like urban living, transportation, construction. I probably already earned around $300 with this image alone, and it continues to sell. This one I photographed in Mexico, and again, it was a story of a young man working in the restaurant, which can be used for a variety of topics. Since I am selling my images with traditional stock agency, I'm talking about reasonable amount of money. Finally, it is important to cover a relatively new market of stock footage. Here it again, we're talking about editorial users. More and more traditional news outlets like newspapers use video on their website. There are three clips I filmed yesterday here in Rome. People sitting in outdoor restaurant on Piazza Navona can be used for editorial travel story about Italy. View of the fountain with blurry images of people has restaurants on the background, so to be safe, I will offer it for editorial use. However, this clip of Piazza Navona don't include any recognizable people or property and can be used commercially. Thanks for watching. Until next time.